All right, guys, so we're back on the dev server again today. The patch came out, and we got a new vehicle, the AMX-10RC. So basically, a badass armored car with a awesome gun. 105, of course. At Model F2. Hmm. I'm going to absolutely have a ball with this tank, I'll tell you right now. The speed is very good. And uh, it sits at 8.3. Yeah, 8.3 tier 6. So, I guess because, you know, the French don't have that much. Let's check the types of ammo. You know, your typical French heat round. Smoke shell, which I have. I didn't know that they even got smoke shell. I guess I should learn. And an APFSDS round, which is to be expected. So, yeah, this this feels like an A1A1, and I believe that Gaijin is going to learn again that this tank is probably going to 8.7, no doubt, because the German A1A1 is basically no armor at all. I mean, it's slower and stuff. It has a great gun and it's got good ammo. It, well, once you unlock it, God, I feel bad for the people who have to go through that shit. Nine. But, um, this is, obviously it has a better round, of course, and that's what everyone was bitching about when this thing was 8.3. Thank God they took it to 8.7 because at 9.0, uh, it was horrible. I had to grind it at 9.0. It was not worth it. But then when she got the 2K, it was amazing. And you, uh, I'm still kind of pissed off about that, but I won't. I won't go on about. It. So basically, they're going to learn again, even though this shell has less penetration. I feel like it's going to perform way better than the A1A1, even though it's a squishy target. Yeah, but those are the hardest to take out in this game. Not everyone understands that. APFSDS, sure, hole break, but other than that, it just you can spam your APH or whatever and it'll just it'll just consume other parts of the vehicle and not the crew itself and it will knock it out. I don't know, maybe they fixed the whole brake mechanics. I hope they did because that's absolutely ridiculous. Um But overall I'm going to love that tank. I bet you I will. But I'll probably not get it. Once it moves up to 8.7. I feel like it's going to be an 8.7. After all, this is a dev server. Nothing is official. Who knows yet. Anyway, back on topic. On these new upcoming vehicles, we have the Challenger Mark III. Which I did not actually preview the other day, simply because I don't have it. But I am currently working on it, as you can see here. So basically it's a Challenger Mark II, but it has an ERA packet. The Brits now have two Challies, which is what everyone wanted. Or maybe not everyone, you know, maybe the, I don't know if there's a salty group out there that doesn't like this tank. But everyone's pissed off about this tank. I don't understand why I've tested the Chally one. It's an absolute great tank. And I expect the same from this this tank with the uh, ERA pack. It obviously isn't going to add much because we still have the stupid ass HE fan stabilized spam that has been going on. You could just boom right there or boom right here and that tank's dead. But um, get shot in the side by HE. You might be alright. It doesn't actually tell you the, yeah, 30, I guess. I'm not exactly sure that. In any case, I, I did test this tank, not the, spe not the specific, you know, model. I tested the Mark II, and I'm fairly certain this one's going to be about the same, so I'm just going to say that I tested this. But, uh, 
Absolute good tank. Very good. Uh, I'd put that in the number two position of my best favorite tanks of all time. You, not even in hold down. You can play this tank aggressively. And you can still beat some ass with it. Everyone complains. I, that's all I hear is bitching about this tank. It sucks. Give me uh, Challenger Mar or Challenger 2. Good tank. This is a damn good tank. I don't know what everyone's bitching about, man. But I know I know what everyone's bitching about with the HE fence stabilized around. I mean, God, that's just absolutely ridiculous. It's like a small bomb going off on your tank and you, you just die. So there is a couple more things I want to add to this video. Uh, this funny right here that I thought was HMS Dildo instead of Ditto. When I first seen it, I was like, why would... Okay, that... Okay. Yeah. And then, I'm going to show you... Now, I didn't see this last time, but I heard reports that they actually added these. Air-to-air -air missiles. Sidewinders. Awesome. The problem with that is... uh. People were having trouble actually trying to lock on to these helicopters during the first dev server session. So helicopters are basically the probably the most oh I wouldn't say LP but probably the best vehicle in game right now for RB. This is for RB. I'm not sure about AB. Um, I doubt they. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I doubt we'd get these kind of missiles in AB. But, um, yeah, there's that. And then I wanted to show you these. Pretty sure the Russians had it. Yeah, they did. No, Germany had it. So Germany actually, I, I didn't hear any reports of Germany getting any kind of, you know, air-to-air -air missile or anything like that. But what they did get, if I can find it, Flares. They got freaking flares. I think this might be the only vehicle in game. You might have to correct me on that. I might look stupid here, but... They added flares. What is this? Just notice that. That... See... Okay, yeah. Um. That's pretty cool. Maybe they did air, add air-to-air -air missiles? Air, air to, yeah, they did. Okay, so this is um, a hind. So basically it's a Russian helicopter. But uh, yeah, Germany has one. This might be the best helicopter against jets? Or um, defense against jets. It has flares. It has air-to-air -air missiles. You name it. Um, I don't know about the Russians. I could go check. Shit, the Russians got flares too. Then that begs a question. Did the Americans get them? They did. So everyone's got flares. And of course, you know, the helicopters did, but the jets did not because the jets are very early, early, early jet, play, uh, supersonic jets. Which I don't think they had that kind of technology at the time. But, you know, as time progresses on, we'll actually get jets with that kind of uh, function. And counter measure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all I'm probably going to record today. I'll actually be doing a video on this. I'll be doing a video on this uh, premium tank because it looks pretty cool and I'm not going to grind in the dev server because it's absolutely pointless. And um, this is the only tank that I think I'll be uh, pre uh, yeah, showing to everyone else because um, 
we all know how the P-40 goes, and uh, most of us know how these two tanks work. So I'm only going to preview this one and do the F-86 Sabre, which, uh, might I add, is the best looking F-86 Sabre. I don't actually approve of uh, them using this tactic again. The XM1 spam was stupid. And they're doing it again. You can buy your way into jets now. That's not... That is not exactly something that I'm a fan of. But my opinion doesn't matter. It is the majority, and it's also the money that they get from it. They are a company, after all, but there probably is a better tactic than you know. Hey, here's a new jet. Or you don't want to... You don't want to grind all the way down here? How about you buy this little thing right here, and then, hell, you'll have it all. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, because I've spent years on this game. But, well, you know, what the hell do I know? I'm salt salty about that situation. just um actually upsets me, but uh, like I said, I'm just a small voice, and uh, there's a larger group out there that would rather have it a different way. And obviously this uh, plane, I think I might do a video on both of these. I'll probably test drive both and put them both in a video just so you guys can check them out. <sighs> what the hell are these? Like, <laughs> they look like d giant, I don't even know, like chainsaw? Hell yeah, dude. We're going to go cut some custom jets down that's what we're going to I guess those are for like um adding on your secondary armament I don't know. but anyway yeah that's about it I'm going to go ahead and make that other video tomorrow and then I'll uh, make some more content for you guys to check thank you for watching again and uh if there is another dev server which I believe there might be because I'm pretty sure this is not all. I have a sneaking suspicion that there's something for Germany coming. You know, something like a... I won't say it, but... Because it... it, it I mean, it obviously is coming. Maybe not this patch. And another heavy tank for the Americans. But uh, that was already... That was already confirmed, and they also found that in the CDK. Which is um, the 155mm T-30. Absolute beast. I can't wait to try that out when it comes out. I don't know if it'll be in this one, but uh, my hopes are high. But yeah, that's about it. If there's anything that I missed uh, and you want to see, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And I'll uh, get around to trying to make a video about it. Thank you again, and uh, I'll catch you next time.